Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. Um, today's been um, one of those sort of running around like a lunatic days, posting parcels to people um, and trying to get special um, funny US thread threaded uh, nuts. So I had to go to a specialist place. This is for a very special project, so it's coming up soon. Um, so that was good. So I had to get some special screws. Um, and while I was there, I rang my mate Anthony. I said, I'm near your unit, are you in? And he said, yeah, I'm in. So I said, jump some lunch. So I we took him for some KFC, which is always good. Uh, finger licking good. And I also bought a load of shite. Um, so um, so when I was there, there was a I actually found a box I hadn't rooted through yet, which I, f I feel ashamed of myself just saying that I missed the box. So in it was some cool stuff. This is part one of part two. The other stuff's got even cooler stuff in it. So let's get on to what, what I found in. So it's going to be guess the price and it's part one, part two. Put your guesses in the second one as usual, guys. Um, so yeah, I found a couple of spoke shaves. Um, this is a made in the USA uh, spoke shave number 51. Um, and it is the Stanley, I believe. Um, yeah, a Stanley Sweetheart made in the USA. A little spoke shave, so I thought that was kind of cute. So I put that in the in the box. thought that was a bit of fun. And then we've got this other Stanley here. What well, says Stanley there? This looks to be a bit earlier. This is a number 53. So we've got a number 51 and a 53. Is that right? Yeah, 51 and a 53. In kind of good usable condition. I think this one's a bit earlier. But some quite nice little spoke shaves there. I was quite pleased with them. And um, go in the collection. I bought this like um leather pigskin mallet, and um, with a nice not palm swelly but still a nice little um hardwood, you know, handle. I got a Thor mallet. Looks to be brand new, softened with blows. So I'll have to hit the wife a few times. I think with that, soften it up before I put, use it on a tool. Um, so softens with blows, eh? So that's nice. I got this one. Looks like it's for playing the uh, croquet. So I can go out in the lawn in the summer and do some croquet with that. But I thought that was cool. I can't say no to little hammers. I've just got a hammer problem. And this is about half, half the hammers i got. I can't say no. We've got this one. U-S-A-G. Sounds a bit Russian. But actually, this has got a nice feel to it. Very, very nice indeed. It's just got a nice handle. Feels really nice. I don't know why, but this is a good one. I think this will be a daily use of this. Oh, it's got a didn't see that i wonder if i can get some new um thingies for them anyway it's still working and then what's this one here a thorex um plastic hammer painted number reference so it's a thor but it's a thorex hmm, kind of cool so two thor hammers this one's had a bit of use on it this one hasn't bit of good um the other thing i bought which was this little extending mirror they're always useful them to throw in the car, look under the car, look under, you know, look, have a look, see what's going on. So I chucked that in. I thought that's useful. This is kind of cool as well. A little bag of little clips, you know, for little glue ups and stuff overnight. So I thought they were good. I just chucked them in. A little bag of glue ups. Now this is, I just really liked with this. I just really, really liked the... Um, what do you call it? The um, little clip on it. Um, and these are, I don't know what brand they are. It just says here, um, Whitworth, I think they are. Made in West Germany. Um, selected special steel. So I'm not sure what the score is with those. It's a full set with, and it's just, I think it's the retro sort of clip. What, what the reason why I picked them up. Can't think of any other reason why. Um, is it that way round? Yeah, that way round. But I just like the little clip. I just thought it was really retro and cool. No, it is that. It's that way, isn't it? Is it that way? Well, I don't know now. They, they obviously do go in together. Why can't I put it back? Oh, For a later date. I'll figure that out when I'm not boring 12 blokes on YouTube who are watching my videos. Right, and um, we've got a used dormer drills. Used dormer drills. That's weird. British made. 
So it's um I think it's Whitworth, I'm not sure. It's got a few it's got that's a dormer. Um but the others I don't think are. But I thought that was kind of cool. I did I did actually pick one of these up off off him the other day. Oops. And it was a Tonga. So I thought I thought mm, I might as well have a dormer to go with a Tonga. Live the dream. So yeah, so that was cool. So it's overall there's some good little bits in my my favourite I will you guys tell me what your favourite lot is amongst these lot. Is it a little uh, West German Spanner set, the Dormer? For me, I think I would go for this, the number 53. That would be my favourite out of this lot. I do like it. I like the um, design on the handle. Um, I just I just think it's nice. Sometimes you have a date mark inside, but I can't see a date. I don't know how old it is. I'm going to guess 19, 1890s. 19 to 10 or something i don't know but it's nice anyway so yeah this is the first lot and um, we'll move on to the second lot and and then you can put your guesses in but overall it was some good stuff there today and i enjoyed having a chat with anthony as always right i'll see you in the next one